Hi friends, I am Dr. Jennifer Jacqueline, your Doom teacher. So today this video is about the need of the our topic, whether you have to take forensic medicine as your specialization in post graduation. So since the need PG counseling is coming up, we are still in a confusion which one to take. I am not talking about the toppers or, or the people who didn't qualify. I am talking about the mediocre ranked people who are in a confusion in the pre and the paraclinical department. I am focusing today mainly whether can you take forensic medicine as your specialization or not. And in the social media pages, there have been many comments saying that forensic medicine is just, you just have to teach the students, you don't have anything out of that. I would say it is a big no, because there are many people who have pursued their career in forensic medicine are very successful out there. So it is better you decide your branch from your third MBBS or from the second MBBS itself. So okay, it is high time we have left out that. Now since we have given our NEED PG, now can we take it? Yes, you can take it because there are many things which you're going to do when you have taken forensic medicine. And before going on to that, we need to have a clarity. What is the difference between forensic medicine and forensic science? Even now, many people call forensic medicine doctors as forensic scientists. Right? So forensic medicine we apply, we doctor apply the medical knowledge to come to a conclusion of whatever we are observing. When it comes to a dead, even we deal with the live patients as well. Okay, The forensic science people, they go to the crime scene, they collect the evidences and they prepare a report that will help the forensic medicine doctors to come to a conclusion. Okay, that goes hand in hand. So forensic medicine is totally a different part where we as doctors are dealing with, right? So whether you can take forensic medicine as your specialization or not, yes, it is a big yes, you can just go for it. So what all you get to do in forensic medicine, right? There are two scenarios. One, you will be dealing with the academics in taking classes for the undergraduate students. So this will be only after you finish your post graduation. So once you enter into your post graduation, the main big uh, job which you do is about the postmortems. Okay, you do a postmortem and you conclude the cause of death, right? And then you give an age determination certificate for the live individuals and you will be issuing a SO case or a sexual offense certificate, right? Suppose a death happens in a distant place and the body is in a decomposed state or it is difficult to transport the body to the mortuary. So you need to arrive to the place and do an autopsy there. That is called as spot autopsy. And there is another scenario where a death has happened and they have buried the person. And after a few days, there has been a doubt in that and they call the autopsy doctor to come and do an exhumation. So exhumation is also a part of our forensic medicine. And also on the other hand, there is this poison control center which has been set up in many colleges and it's just upcoming. And you will be dealing with live patients in that also. So now you have done the post-graduation, what next? You will be dealing with the postmortems when you go to a government setup. When you go to a private setup, you will be dealing with the academics. So when you are there in the government setup, you will be doing the postmortems or any cases for that matter, you will have to go to the court to deposit your evidence. So that is one big thing where most of the people are scared of. So you will have to make up your mind whether you will be uh, strong enough or you are a person who can deal with judicial uh, proceedings also. So these are the two broad categories or the scope after you finish forensic medicine. So there are many interesting things which you can do in this. But I would not say forensic medicine is like a CID job. It is not. We apply our medical knowledge and we try to help uh, the court of law in bringing the justice. Right? So it is very interesting and you can definitely take it as your career. Why? Because there are many people out there who have chosen forensic medicine just as a dream subject. The only thing is you have to rule out the other subjects and just assess whether you can deal with dead or not because you will be the doctor of the dead. You will not be the doctor of the life. If you have a love for patients or love for stethoscope, you're not for this. But if you have a strong heart, I'm keeping on telling that you should be strong enough to deal. What is this strong? I'm not telling about the muzzle body. Why? Because 
during the covid times there were n number of deaths so when i was doing this post graduation when i entered the mortuary on a particular day where there were almost 25 to 30 dead bodies around me and my faculty told me go inside and do the autopsy right i entered inside and i was the center like a sun and surrounding there were 30 dead bodies and that day i realized i was strong enough so you should be with a strong heart that you can deal with death because most of the people will not be liking to deal with death so if you really are interested in this subject if you think you can deal with this you can deal with dead and the court proceedings then you have to go for it so yeah this is about a small nutshell whether you can take forensic medicine as your specialization right so i'll meet you all in the next video if this information is useful kindly circulate to your friends so that it will be helpful for them right i'll meet you all in the next video let's have a happy learning